Did you know there was a late story and legend about Virgin Mary and Jesus sitting next to a palm tree? Yes, you heard me right. And did you know the Quran actually plagiarized from this story? Maybe like, wait, what? But let me explain. This comes from a writing called the Gospel of Pseudo Matthew, which is a false gospel and false doctrine. And it was composed around in the 6th century and finished in the 8th century. In chapter 20 of Pseudo Matthew, it reads this. And it came to pass on the third day of their journey while they were walking that the blessed Mary was fired by the excessive heat of the sun in the desert. And seeing a palm tree, she said to Joseph, Let me rest a little under the shade of this tree. Then the child Jesus, with a joyful continent reposing in the bosom of his mother, said to the palm, palm tree, O tree, Bend your branches and refresh my mother with your fruit. And immediately at these words, the palm bent its top down to the very feet of the blessed Mary. And they gathered from it fruit with which they were refreshed. Chapter 20. Remember how earlier I mentioned how the Quran actually plagiarized from this story? If you look in Surah 19, verse 22 to 26, it reads, So she carried him, and a sacrifice for her, herself with him in a remote place. The labor pains came upon her by the trunk of a palm tree. She said, I wish I had died before this and been completely forgotten. Whereupon he called her from beneath her, Do not do not worry, your Lord has placed a stream beneath you and shake the trunk of the palm tree towards you. Drop down ripe dates by you, so eat and drink and be consoled. And if any human say, I have vowed a fast to most gracious, so I will not speak to my human today. You see here that the Quran actually plagiarized and took from the story. Each story has the same premise. Mary gets weary and tired, and she lays by a palm tree, and she's really stressed out and tired, and Jesus somehow starts speaking and causes the palm tree to produce some fruit for Mary to eat. The stories are completely identical. This is different from some type of flood story. There's no differences in this story whatsoever. Quran is not the word of God because it contains many plagiarized things. It plagiarized from a lot of mythical and fictional stories that try to copy off the story of the Bible, such as apocryphal texts and even Gnostic texts. The Quran also plagiarized from Jewish mythology and Aramic folklore. It also plagiarized from the Bible itself. But if you're a Muslim and you're watching this, I want to show you something. Look, my friends, John 14:6. Jesus, this is the words of Jesus here. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We cannot make it to fa- to the Father. We cannot make it to God through Buddha. We can't make it to them through any of these other things. We can't make it to him through Confucius or Krishna or Muhammad. We can't even make it to him through Muhammad, but Jesus Christ. My friends, I'm Muslim, I recommend you take a look in the uh, Bible. Look a little deeper to the Bible, read through some of that, and then you guys are going to be like, no, 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 no. Just study it, meditate on it. I'm telling you, you guys will find some interesting things in it. This video, in any way, shape, or form, is no hate towards anyone who is Muslim or in Islam, but to inform everyone on the truth, which is Jesus Christ. For free Christians out there, let's preach to the people who are in Islam. But let's not preach with hate, but preach with love. I see a lot of Christians out there that preach to Muslims with hate, but we preach with love like Jesus commanded us to do. Let's make a difference in the world today.